Hey Railhead, welcome back to another operation series. Cargill Salt this time. I started out down here and show you what we're going to do. Got my handy dandy switch list here. Oh, we're going to start out pulling one, two, Cars off of track one. Right here. And we're going to pull one, two, three covered hoppers off of track two, which is over here. So we're going to pull everything. Okay, let's go to the yard and see what we got to do over there. Okay, here we are back in the yard. So we're going to place these two covered hoppers, which are these guys here. And we're going to place the Podex covered hopper in these two box cars. Products and those two box cars. All right, seems pretty straightforward. No respotting to do that we know of. Uh, one thing I do see, which we ought to fix while we're here, so over here is the string of this cut of uh, Seneca Foods cars, but here in the back of it is a lone box car sitting there, and that that's a uh, Cargill Salt car. So it really needs to be on, I think, yeah, there's room for it. Anyway, it needs to be on uh, over here, which is yard one. So we got the main here, and then yard one, yard two, yard three, and there's the interchange track, theoretically, with Norfolk Southern, uh, which they run from... Geneva down. It's actually a bridge like a flyover here at Hemrod. I didn't model that. Uh, but it uh, goes on down to Corning uh, Gang Mills, Corning area. There's a big Norfolk Southern Yard down there. Okay, let's get them fired up. See if we got the guys ready to go. Okay, guys, let's get fired up. We're ready to roll. See Leon's up there on the lead loco. Now, while we're waiting for them to warm it up, I'll talk a little bit about some comments I got on my last series of videos. Some real good suggestions for more realistic operations. I even made a list of them. Here you go. You can kind of see what I'm trying to remember as I operate. I'm just, just uh, all this transparency, I'll show you. Things I'm trying to keep in mind and uh, do differently. Just to make things look better and run better. Okay, like I said, we're gonna drive that uh, box car down there at the far end. Way down there at the end of track two, the yard two, I mean. So we'll just back and shove this cut of cars back and couple to it. And one thing in my notes was to, somebody made a comment, they'd, uh, they think I should sound the horn when I'm going to move the locomotive. Good point. I've seen uh, a lot of times they'll do one, one horn blast means they're moving backwards. Two shorts means they're moving forwards. So.
I had to move this cut of car so I could see the pick couple up. Dean's back there. He's going to release the handbrakes on that box on that box car. Okay. We might have a problem with that first covered hopper. We're going to stop right here and take a look at it. I guess everything's okay. See, Dean's riding on that covered hopper again. We'll clear the road. He'll have to jump down and throw that switch. A half car. That'll do. Drop this one boxcar off on the main. And then we'll shove these uh, Seneca Foods cars back up where we had them. about one more car that'll do okay Dean's got us uncoupled ready to pull ahead
Oh, one more car. Ah, uh, Lou. What we're going to do here, I think, is uh, something I a comment on someone else's operations video. Uh, that uh, in a case like this, instead of pulling ahead to clear the road, if there's no traffic buildup, uh, they'd stop and block the road. They, uh, they said, you know, a car will, will sometimes try to run and beat the train and get hit and there's a bad wreck. But uh, a car will very seldom actually come down the road and run broadside into a, a rail car. So this may be a safer way to do it. Well, three cars. Two more. One. That'll do. Well, Dean's still hanging on to that, uh, that last covered hopper there, he'll have to get down off of there, come up and uncouple this cut of cars. Come on, let go, Dean. I'll set the handbrakes here first. Okay, we're on a couple. Go ahead. Beams riding on that rear loco. Oh, one more. He walked ahead through that other switch for us. Now he'll just walk up to where we're going to couple to this string of cars right here.
Three more. Two. One more. Half car. Fifty. Twenty. I'll live. You know, that little little rock I'm using for my handbrake, it's stuck, it's stuck under the car between the, the, the covered hopper and the loco. Let's see if I can get it out of there. Okay, got rid of that rock. We're coupled up. I release the handbrakes, I should say. Okay, we got all the five cars we need to place the car gill salt. Dean gonna go up, climb in the cab. We'll pick up here next time, and we'll be leaving Hemrod heading for Cargill Salt. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.